This is another episode of Driving Devotion, where I will be sharing today's verse of the day. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, and it reads, so This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate in it day and night to do according to what is all written in it. Only then will your way be prosperous and then successful. I kind of paraphrased it there a little, but you get the gist of it. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Why did I choose this particular scripture as the verse of the day? Well, it speaks volumes to all of us. We all know that those of us who are Christians, that the moment we've sincerely decided to dedicate our lives to Jesus Christ alone, that we were placed in the midst of spiritual warfare. Now we are the target of Satan himself. We are the target of Satan and his kingdom. Now, we know that Satan has various ways of attacking the church, whether individually or collectively. One of his ways that he attacks the church or that, or that he attacks us is uh, bombarding our minds with unholy thoughts, words, and images. Satan bombard our minds with unholy thoughts, words, and images. For instance, in the book of John, chapter 13, verse 2, it says, the Satan has already placed in the heart of Judas to betray Jesus. Now, we know when the Bible uses the terminology heart, it is referencing uh, it is referencing figuratively speaking to the mind, right? Where it pretty much represents the particular part of the mind where we store the greatest memories, the most precious moments of our lives, right? The heart is pretty much the center of emotion and courage and strength within our soul and spirit. So John chapter 13 verse 2 says, Satan has already placed it in the heart of Judas to betray Jesus. What, did that, what does that mean? It means that Judas was so lost in, the, in his own darkness. He was so lawless as far as lacking the very word of God, the only source that he needed to defend himself. Not only that, he was literally next to the living word of God, Jesus Christ himself. Judas was literally in the presence of the living word of God. Jesus Christ himself, the word that became flesh. Yet Judas chose or allowed Satan to bombard his mind. So much so that according to John chapter 13, verse 27, Satan himself literally possessed the body of Judas. Satan was so successful and building a stronghold in the mind and heart of Judas, that he literally possessed the mind and heart and body of Judas to betray Jesus. What does that tell us as Christians? Can we, can we not also suffer the same fate of Judas? Yes, we can. If we're not careful as Christians, by, if we're not careful as Christians, by not taking the time to continually study the Word of God on a daily basis, sincerely, and continuously increase our prayer life every day, and to constantly have a praise-worshiping service for the Lord, whether at home, or at work, or at school, or at church. If we're not careful in doing these things, we can suffer the same fate as Judas himself. Judas had plenty of time to repent of his sin because Jesus, who is God, it says of God in the book of Psalms, chapter 86, verse 5, God is good and always ready to forgive. God never changes who he is. But Christ already saw the fate of Judas because of his un 
repentant way towards Jesus. Judas never repented to Christ. So therefore, Judas had to suffer his own guilt. Satan not only used him, but Satan also abused him with severe guilt, which resulted in Judas committing suicide. What am I saying here? It is extremely important to meditate in the Word of God. And that, once again, this applies to me, too. Many of the times, we get so occupied or even preoccupied in our worldly cares, whether it's our job or hanging with family or friends or due to self-oriented desires or pleasures that we typically have, typically place God on the back shelf when it should not be that way. But the Word of God says that the, the Word of God says that it's the surest way of defeating Satan. The Word of God is what we use. If you, if you read Matthew chapter 4, you'll notice that when Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit to be tempted by the devil, who is Satan, Jesus used his Holy Word to defeat Satan. We must not only just speak the Word of God, we must literally and faithfully and confidently live the Word of God. We, this is the surest way. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 pretty much demonstrates the surest way of purifying our minds and hearts and souls and spirits through Christ, through the Word. Through the Word, we must, we must study the Word of God antecedently. Now, many, now, some of you may not know what the word antecedent, antecedent means. But the word antecedent means, or the word antecedent, it's pretty much synonymous to the word priority. <clears throat> the word antecedent is pretty much synonymous to the word priority. We must prioritize the Holy Word of God above all things on earth and above everyone else on earth, including ourselves. The Word of God must be prioritized above all things that are that is on earth and above everyone else, including ourselves, that is on earth. According to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, the Lord says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto thee. We shall place the kingdom of God above all of our concerns, all of our worry, all of our selfish ways, all of our anxiety, depression, our pleasures, our desires, our wishes, we must seek the kingdom of Jesus Christ and all his righteousness above all things, literally and impartially, and above everyone else, including ourselves, truthfully, faithfully, and impartially, and forevermore. If you want your mind and heart to be purified, let us meditate the, on, let us meditate on the word of God continually with the help of the Holy Spirit. It's the surest way of defeating the devil. My church, the Sebring Seventh-day Adventist, they said it best. When you don't read your Bible, Satan rejoices. When you read your Bible, heaven rejoices. If you want heaven to rejoice, I strongly recommend you guys to take your time to read the Word of God. You know, you know it doesn't necessarily have to be a whole page. It could just be a particular verse or a psalm or a proverb that fully resonates with you or, or a particular verse, but I would, uh, but ideally it's best to read the whole Word of God, to study the Word of God. Even if you've already completed reading the Word of God, read it again repeatedly until the end of time. Because according to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, the Word of God is truly alive and powerful, all right? So that's my verse of the day. I hope this message resonates with you all, okay? God bless you. May Christ Jesus keep you and your love was forevermore. God bless. Bye-bye.